Previously in Skyrim, home of the Nords, I learned about the Bear Clans of Karthgad, who have guarded the Reach's frontiers for generations. I then met Thane Gorverda, who serves the throne of Markarth and enforces King Barda's laws within the Vorngad Forest. I also met Ravos Tarandus, a representative from the Karthwaston Mages Guild, who has been serving as a healer and teacher. I also met Yolna Bear Voice, the village shaman, who asked me to kill a Spriggan at the Shrine of Kine. Finally, I visit Curlingroff Mine and clear out some spikeworms, and now I continue helping the citizens of Karthgad. Lord Vivek is gone and we are far away from Morrowind. But we are here, Misty Kadgad. It's 10 a.m. in the morning and we have a quest to do. That would be blocked from worship. So Yolna Bad Voice asked me to rid the sacred shrine of Kain of a spriggan named Arvelith. Agree to deal with Havarat for the Shaman Yolna. Alright. So we need to go to Blood Paw Lodge and somewhere north of it is the Shrine of Kine. So let's make our way there then. So off we go then. Oh, that card is amazing. What a forested area. I guess uh, climb down here. Okay. Blood Paw Lodge is is a kingdom property or under under the control of the kingdom, so it should be safe. Alright. Heavily forested. Zone, the one god forest. Black sport camp. Bear claw. Are these the hanging moss of Skyrim? Ooh, I wish these were pluckable. <laughs> Remember in Skyrim we had this hanging moss? Oh, so cool. What is that? Bees? Can I catch them like in Skyrim? I can't. Yeah, we're almost there. Oh yeah, I can see a settlement or sort of whatever that is. Maybe a fort. Camp. It is all uh, it's bordered by rocks everywhere. Interesting. The rocks there. What does it say here? Cat Cat, Dragon Star, and Atmaston. Really? Okay. Hmm. I guess a small settlement. May the wind be on your back. What are you doing here? We already caught one Richmond girl sneaking around our lodge. I'm sure you can find room for another outsider. 
Okay, we'll come back and talk to you guys. Priority is now. To find the shrine of kind, right? Which is supposed to be north of here. Maybe this somewhere here, I guess. Do I have to fly up? Cut Boston, Dragon Star, Cut Guy. I guess this will this path will take us up. Shrine of Kind. It says not of Black Paw Lodge. Let's see. Birds of all kinds gather around the altar, day or night. Oh, I love it. Why didn't we have a Shrine of Kind in Elder Scrolls 5? Why don't we have the Nordic Totem Gods? It's pretty cool that you have Totem Gods still as part of the Nord culture in the third era. Okay. You see a lot of birds and I guess you're, you're there. There are some strange creatures. Alright. This way or this way? Let's see. Let's try this way. You really feel like you're in the forest. It's amazing. What a job they've done. The team. Fantastic job. Ooh. Oh, hello. I guess you're chill now. What's going on, Skyrim Bear? <clears throat> I don't know when this guy's gonna get aggro. Let's not take a chance. With this dude. Wow, that's amazing. So you have a uh, Kejev Cavern. Okay, a cavern here. And you have these stairs that are carved into the rock and even enclosures. Wow, very cool. Old clay urn. A worn chest with bear shield. Nordic ring. Nice little ingredients here. Oh, is she? Is she um, Havilat? Hey, she's Havilat. And she's chill. Hello. I'm Havlet, guardian of the shrine. Oh, this is a shrine? Oh, you have birds here. Okay. State your business, Britain. Uh, oh, you can actually speak to Spriggans. How oh, cool, man. Alright. 
sick uh, havelet i'm a spriggan spirit of the forest i have taken the sacred shrine of a uh, kind in an effort to protect it from the taint of the wicked bear clan i will not harm you unless you too wish to further corrupt this location see how cool you can actually speak to a spriggan which you could not in uh, s5 <laughs> Oh, I love it, man. Okay, why are they wicked? They are a bunch of petty savages masquerading as men. They use protecting their homelands as an excuse for blind warring. The shaman Yolna brings stolen trinkets to peace kind and does nothing to stop her clan's action. I will allow it no longer. Okay? Leave me be Britain so so long as you're not a member of the wicked bear clan you and I have no quarrel I'm only occupying this shrine to keep the members of the bear clan away I come from Yulna Barwas I will kill you I will leave you be of course um Elasa here will leave her be Thank you Britain please tell Yulna Barwas that she and others must turn from the wicked path if they wish to worship here if you do I might have something for you upon your return Ah. Okay. Avalit claims she is guarding the sh sacred shrine of kind from the bear clan as their growing wickedness would taint the site. She tasked me with relaying her message to Yolna Bear Voice. All right, let's go. Is this a shrine? Where is the shrine? Hang on. Oh, this is a shrine. Cool. Arvalet. Okay, we make a beeline to um, path card. Then I should have put a mark. Then I should have casted a mark. Oh, well, keep forgetting. Very cool. Uh, I really like the quest. The fact that you could, you don't didn't have to kill her. Hang on. This is the way. Okay, this is the way. Got in. Citizen. Speak up. Speak up. Okay, Yulna must be here. Speak up! <laughs> you too, speak up. Is she dead? No, she told me she's protecting the shrine from your clan. How dare you? How dare she? Next time you agree to help someone in need, I would suggest you keep your word. All right. Oh, that suck. Can we convince her? Okay. Oh, we can't. All right. Whatever, Yolna. Oh, I didn't cast a recall. Okay. Let's do a mark here then. Let's... Yes, brother. Mark. So Yulna Bear Voice refuses to heed my warning. That is unfortunate. I will stay here and continue to guard this place. She will see the error in her ways if she returns here. You want my blessing for your time and efforts. Oh, how, how sweet. Goodbye. Oh, I get uh, a blessing from a spriggan. What is that? I wonder. Blessing of kind. Speed. 45 speed, 10 points. 23 minutes. Oh, love it. Alright, look at that. 
What if I speed, man? All right, so that completes the quest, I guess. I wish we could uh, convince Yolna there. That would have been cool. I mean, instead of Yolna being angry at us, I wish we could have uh, done something to convince her. That would have been uh, awesome. And then she would have been happy. Havilath would have been happy. Now she's on guard and uh, didn't end well. Okay, whatever. So we do a recall now. Let's do the next quest at Kadkar. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mage teleportation. Nothing like it. Who else are the, the villagers I can speak to? May the be on your back. Varna oh, Brinad. Did you want something? Hello. You know the cliffside where the Bear Clan's ancestral barrow is? To the west on Kadgar's outskirts. If you know, there's actually a second barrow there too, up on the mountain top. I don't think anyone's been to Batamwal in years. Batamwal barrow. Okay, let's go check it out then. Batamwal. What is Batamwal barrow? Fight well. Okay, let's go check it out then. Batwam Barrow. Batamwal Barrow. So it is near uh, that Paul Lodge. This way again. Acrobatics. Oops. Oh, I was quick thinking. <laughs> All right. Should be somewhere here, the barrow. Karen Bear. Relax. Batwal Barrow. Okay, looks like undead. There are undead here. Time to get ready. Rust Rasula. Wow, very oh, spike bomb. Hello. Hanging moss. Red Adventurer, Bloodless Corpse. Ooh, are these guys vampires? Oh, they are vampires. Hang on. A mortal enters bottom wall. How amusing. Your heart beats louder than a drum, Breton. I could seize its pounding with a single gesture. Do you believe me? You are headstrong to approach us. Of the Kulari clan, so openly, Elisa, you are. 
fascinating. Ulari clan, so it's a vampire clan. Then perhaps, instead of a quick exsanguination, you would wish to negotiate for our gift? A small matter, repaid a hundredfold. If one such as you has made it to this place, others will follow. This we, Kulari, cannot allow. Regretfully, I must enforce upon you this choice, Elisa. You will either kill Thain Gorwada in Khadgard and accept the embrace of the blood of the Kulari, becoming the newest and lowest of our clan. Kill Thain Gorwada, or you will die here in Bathamwall. Huh. He wants us to kill the Thane? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Huh? Why Thane Govada? It is said that Govada is a beautiful Thane, so you must understand that her learning of our newest lair would cause needless hostility from those mortal villagers. That's why Enforcing upon you this choice becomes necessary. I ask only one more time. Do you wish to kill Gorwada and receive the gift, gift of one life? Or will Bathamwal become your own sepulcher? Nope. See, Elisa is loyal to the Empire. She has come here because of the request of Mr. Oriel Septim. And Thane Gorwada is part of the Kingdom of the Reach, who is with the Empire. So, if you think about it, uh, it's unacceptable. Killing a Thane would accrue a bounty, then like, uh, you can't carry on orders of the of Uriel Septim and, you know. So, as an Erevarine, Elisa will say, No! Unacceptable choice you give me. I'm going to enjoy this. Here it comes! Let's go, man! What happened to you? Huh? Alright. Punching, huh? Hey, what, why did he die? Tamari Kulari. He has a ring of invigorated flesh. Restore health. Yeah, not a bad ring to have. Vampire dust. Spell absorption. Ooh. First time the Nervarine had to actually use combat. But a vampire. So I guess... Uh, Kudari vampires in Batwam Baro are dead. Good for good this time. So do we go report to Thane Gorwada? Tamarik Kulari. I wonder what happened when this guy died. This guy too. Or maybe my uh, my spell got him. Nice. So, do we have? Is this like an expensive? Let's see what we have here. Cross damage. Okay. Okay, it's a fairly small, very small dungeon. All right. Like one. All right. Let's go to Thane Gorwada. Keep getting confused. This way or this way. Love the misty atmosphere of Skyrim. So cool, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should have uh, done a recall. Oh well. 
I should have recalled. That's fine. So let's go to the long house and give the good news to Thane. Hopefully she'll be happy. You exterminated a vampire nest in the barrow? That's grave news, Elisa. People of the Reach haven't had trouble with undead in living memory. I hear that over in Hafimhem, vampires and undead are set to stalk the cold forest. Here in the Vongar, we typically have only have to deal with Reachmen or beasts. That those foul abominations could establish a nest so close to the village, completely unknown, is very troubling. You should check your wounds for their accursed taint. Having one who can clear out a nest of vampires, turn themselves, isn't an enemy I want to make anytime soon. Please accept this. Some gold and trinkets seem like a poor reward for what you have done. I hope it suffices. Along with my thanks, I instruct our warriors to sharpen their axes and keep keener eyes at night. The Torque of Illumination Hmm. See any elves? <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's weird. Okay, what is that thing she gave me? Talk of illumination. Oh, light. How oh, sweet. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's two quests done then. Shall we go to Kathbastan and get another Major's Guild quest? Or let's see what we have here in Kathgard. Alright. Nojor Bareface. Noyor. We just speak to him. Let's see. No, 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 your bare face. Okay. <laughs> they all hate vampires. You're a footman of the bear clan. Okay. The king and his guards know better than to bother us here. Same goes for the Imperials. They hate them outsiders. By all means, keep to the roads if you wish a safe journey. Only hardy frontiersmen should brave the Vongard forest. If one of our hunters would mistake you for a prey and put you put an arrow in your back, har har. Very funny, my friend. Severe's horde. What a fool I was to trust the hairy bastard. I called Severe my comrade and how did the scoundrel repay me? He, he made off with loot that by oath and sword rightfully belongs to me. Statue somewhere in the woods, I wager. Maybe you could get him to cough up his hiding spot. I need to find out where Swear hid Noyor's root. These names are so hard to pronounce. I mean, I swear I can pronounce Morrowind names easier than these names. Swir, Eswir, Nor Yor, oh, Conquistors. <laughs> what are these? Are like, are these Irish or what? Strange. I wonder who got these names. All right, let's go speak to Swir. Don't start about. All right, all right, chill out. Mm, pudding. Okay, let's, uh, I guess, go to the other edge of town. Is he? Are you severe? No, you're not. Uh, come on, then. Say something or move on. Uh, <laughs> the way they speak. It's so funny. Ah. Uh, nice view from here, boss.
Okay. So this house. Okay, here you are. The one in the corner. <laughs> 